Okay, lads, the final command. In the event of a knockdown, the fighter standing will go to the furthest future corner and stay there. Protect yourself at all times. Touch those guys. Even a little smile there from Gennady Krajewski. Tommy Fury, in his last two fights, has not looked in any mood to hang around. This is his first competitive engagement since last December. What are you hoping to see from Tommy this time, Richie? Well, he's durable, isn't he? He's been on the new stop three rounds. But these are good shots again from Tommy Fury. That's a lovely body shot there, and again, recognises what he's done, hit the target and jumps on his opponent. With some good luck. Fury just brought him on to that right of the cup. That's the body shot again. Powerful right hand. Is Krajewski feeling the weight of the Fury power already? And started work behind that lead and better. Brought his opponent onto a couple of good right uppercuts. Yeah, I like what I saw there from Tommy Fury. That was a, a decent opening round. And winning it fairly clearly. It's only a four rounder. His fourth professional fight. Krajewski trying to get lucky with a big right hand, a big overhand right, but Fury just leaned back and saw it whistle through thin air. And now starting to apply the pressure again, looking for big body shots. It's a good jab, that is, from Fury. It keeps the man off balance. You see, so Krajewski has tried a couple of times to, to come forward, just to rush forward. But when you've got that jab poking you in the face from long range, fast, sharp, accurate, that's what Fury needs to do. Just measure that distance and gap and then bring him on to bigger punches like that right uppercut that we saw earlier. Kravsky on the front foot trying to take the pressure to Tommy Fury. And what krajewski has got to do here, John, he's got to try and um, avoid that jab. So he's got to try and slip that jab. There's that right uppercut that we spoke about again. But again, he's measured very well with his jab beforehand. So krajewski has got to try and slip the jab and then come back with the counter. But Fury's boxing well at distance here. Fury going in behind his head a little bit there. The referee, I'm sure, will not allow too much of that. <laughs> Well, both of them guilty of a bit of holding there. Bob Williams trying to keep the action clean. He's got to control that distance a little bit better. That's more like it behind the jab. Krajewski just had a chance there, he, uh, how he slipped that shot, but didn't, didn't, didn't work on the inside. So occasionally Krajewski is just missing the opportunity when, when they're in at close quarters. Fury just nullifying his work, keeping him close. Not quite being able so far to provide the eye-catching highlights that we're accustomed to seeing. He's not been able to tee off with big power shots so far on this tough Lithuanian. Oh, now he's, up, now he's got there, and uh, I think that Krajewski certainly felt the weight of that punch and wanted to hold on. Yeah, three or four punch combo that went in there from Fury, and I think that hurt. And oh, uppercut! Again. That was lovely. Right hand, right uppercut, put him away, and he ain't getting up from that. It was the right hand that put him down. He'd been hurt in the previous exchange, and a beautiful punch to end the fight in the second round. Well, that was... Super, wasn't it, from Fury? We said that we wanted to see him in, in a couple of rounds, and we have done, and he's finished his opponent off well there. He put some good combinations together. I thought he started off the round well again behind the jab, measuring the distance, and then he's brought his opponent onto, onto bigger punches. I'd be, I'd be pleased with, with Fury's work there. 
it, it was against a tougher opponent. And, uh, he's, you know, he's done the job at the end of the day and uh, he's finished the opponent off well. Let's just hope that Krajewski is going to be OK.